Do here again for the third time today, bringing you this tutorial. Uh, um, I will show you the tutorial. Uh, it's right here, actually. Um, it was requested by some little light. Okay, butter. That little thingy, the motion tile. And all, we're probably wondering why are we watching this on your channel? I want to show you guys something. Like, um, okay, so Grand Rules, yeah, I charge for editing, it's my Skype, yada yada. My goals, help me hit my closest goal, because it will give you a subscriber pack, um, subscriber pack, color correction pack, and I, that means I'm giving you all the presets that I have and more. And I'm telling you guys, I have a lot of presets for, um, for Magic Boat Looks, and it's gonna be a kind of a mix, but I have, like, 2,000 presets for it. Magic Bolt looks so it'll be intense. So I need 52 more, so let me get there. All right, let's go back to this. Okay, here we go. So what we're gonna do is I already have my Twixter clip rod here, and as you can, there's nothing on here. And there's no effect on it. So the first thing that you wanna do, gonna wanna do is you're going to want to twixter it, but I already have it twixtered, and um, this is where I'm going to start off with. So motion tile, look up the motion tile, and um, hold on, every time I get here I have to play around with it. Yeah, alright, it works. Okay, so, 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 keyframe both of them. Um, find where he shoots. Is it yet? Right here. Okay, so open up your motion tile, keyframe them again. We're gonna go somewhere in the middle. A little more actually. You wanna go to the middle and then you wanna go a little bit more to the right. Keyframe them both. Put them both at 34. 34 is the best because you can get nine frames. And also a little trick. You can do the phase thingy, pretty cool. Um, I'll do it if you want me to. So keyframe the phase, then spin it twice. Bring it back to zero here. Oh my god. Okay, so we got the basic down. Ooh, He shoots, but we're missing something. We're missing something very, very important, guys. We're missing optics compensation. Now you guys are probably gonna be like, "What the hell, man? We just use that in tutorial number nine. But we're gonna need it again because if we don't have it, we just have this really bad-looking nine. You'll just just wait. Okay, so. We're just gonna want to click reverse lens distortion and keyframe field of view. Oh, that is at the very beginning. Then go to the climax and bring it up. Whoosh. Maybe, I think I had it 115 before. And then I'm gonna go a little past, let's say, so for me at the 46 mark, and I'm gonna put it at zero. So what we have now is this cool little warping effect, but it doesn't look too good. It doesn't look too good because it's too uh, it's too standard, you could say. Um, so I'm going to go to click motion tile, go to the graph editor. What the heck? Oh, whoa, dear! Hold on, I'll click this and parent that to the width so that it'll change both and I won't have to do it twice. So yeah, click this bottom one and click easy ease and we're gonna pull it out. And that's not what she said. <laughs> and I'm gonna click this one and do easy ease out because I'm gonna make it kinda blow up it's gonna speed up. Um, move 
this. tile part, we'll do the same thing with optics compensation, if it'll let me, what the hell am I, yeah, right here, let's bring this out and make it pretty basic, this one's going to be pretty basic, and we're missing one more thing. What I did in the tutorial was, because of his optic compensation effect, right when he shoots, I'm actually going to go for him right before he shoots, add the CC lens from distort, drag it in, and I'm going to go to right here-ish, 120, and then keyframe it, then go for it, like, actually I'm going to go for it all the way to 47. And then bring it out. What that will do is it will create this explosion effect. And so this you got this kind of slingshot thingy. Hold up. Actually, I messed up. I forgot to make a beginning keyframe. Oh no! Oh wow! Look at that. I was right on it. So size. Bring that up to 500. So next keyframe is right here. A pretty basic tutorial. <clears throat> so I hope you could follow along with what I was doing. All that I did was I just added motion tile, optic compensation, and CC lens, and I did the graph editor thingy to make it look all cool. So let's um ramp. No, not on the ramp preview. I don't know how much time I have. I forgot when I started. Also, if you want to add extra effect, I'm going to go to right when this guy blows up. Transform, go to scale. One more, and we're gonna scale it up to 130. Go right here, we're gonna go back to 100. And now, if we ran preview it again. <laughs> I like this effect a lot, although I think it's really overused in the community. You want to add a sound effect when you do it, but mine was I had a perfect song. It made it look sound like a slingshot thingy, so it was all good. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was requested, and happy MLK Day. Three tutorials, one day. Boom! Yes! Oh my god! Bye bye. <laughs>